Welcome back to Exposing Human Trafficking. Here's part two of uh, Brad Pitt and Chewing Gum. I've worked the gum a bit better. I'm going to make a balloon now. Watch. A bubble. Sorry, I'm thinking in Spanish. There. Anyway, I think I'm going to start making these videos chewing gum for a while. Because it'll keep him off the channel. Because he hates it so much. But I'm going to drop um, a link in the description box below. For an interview that he did between two ferns. I hear some really juicy gossip. Um, they asked him about his virginity. When he got engaged to me. He told me that he was still a virgin. That when he was 19, he almost had sex with a girl. But he didn't finish it, and he felt bad about it. And he asked um, Jesus to forgive him. But that he wanted my blood. And of course, I didn't know what he wanted my blood for. Because he has blood type O and mine is AB. And I'm like, what do you want with my blood? But, whatever, right? If you watch the other videos, you'll know why. Playgirl Magazine. When I showed him my stash of Playgirl Magazines, I had told Je uh, Ellen DeGeneres she was more than welcome to come and look at. So she'd stop being a lesbian. And stop bothering me. Stop hitting on me. Which, of course, Brad thought that was just wonderful. He was so flattered. Disgusting. I told him, don't ever get into one of these magazines. Keep your image pure so that you don't jeopardize your career. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh, the Make It Right Foundation. Well, we all know he didn't make it right with Make It Right. And he won't make it right with victims of human trafficking either. Mm -mm. And that brings us to the gum. I was kissing him. <coughs> and um, when I was done... I didn't have my gum in my mouth anymore. And I said, can I have my gum back? And he's like, well, where is it? And I said, in your mouth. And he found it. So I said, it was my last piece, and I really wanted my gum back. And I went and got it. Disturbs me that he became best friends with George Clooney. George Clooney was one of the men that raped me. Because as my older human trafficking stepbrother told George Clooney, he should teach me the facts of life. And that's because George Clooney was on the facts of life. And I was horrified. To think that a TV show that I grew up watching that I really liked... The characters, I liked all those girls. They reminded me of the girls I went to high school with. And someone on that show was now raping me. But Brad became best friends with him, huh? Now, you're probably wondering why I bring up all these videos. And that's because Brad Pitt thought that I forgot him because of the car accident I had. Because I had a little bit of amnesia. And that's what led me to the doctors. And that's when they found out everything else that had been going on. How I had been sexually abused since the age of three. And trafficked for child porn since the age of seven. 
been taken to satanic rituals since the age of four. And then majorly trafficked at 21 and on. And so Brad, through the years, hoping that I would watch one of his interviews, always put something in there to try to make me remember. What he didn't know was that the reason why I didn't remember him was because I asked the doctors to take him out of my reality. Because when I found out that he had betrayed me, he had traded me for fame when they took my virgin blood to write his pact with the devil. And that he never loved me. And that my older stepbrother, George Bermudez Jr., had been using Brad to get other girls. I didn't want to ever see him again. I didn't want to know about him. And the least painful way to do that was for doctors to remove him from my mind under hypnosis. Brad Pitt had a better chance at me as being the man that I used to see in Cosmo magazine. I didn't remember. But having remembered what Brad Pitt is all about, has ruined his shot with me, ever. And I know the reason why he wants me back is not because he loves me. It's because he wants to trick me into falling in love with him again. Because since this satanic coven and Freemasons is generational, they want me back in the coven. Brad had told me he wanted me to join the coven, finish the ritual, and get my 20-year-old friends to join the coven. So basically, he was trying to get me to fall in love with him again. So that he could trick me into another fake relationship with him. So that now I could become the predator and be used to get other young people into human trafficking. He's so disgusting. You know, it's funny how someone who thinks he knows me so much knows so little of me. But that's the length that these people will go to so that they can find new victims of human trafficking. I'm bringing another generation of people to be tortured, humiliated, violated, exploited so that they can line their money in their pockets. So give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't. And share, share, share so that there's not one more victim of human trafficking. Tell me what you think about the gum chewing. If it gets him off my channel, I know he's on the channel. I know he's watching it. He's already sent a few flying monkeys and I have to get rid of them. But if it'll get rid of them, make him wake up that there is no redemption. There is no forgiveness for what he's done. And the same way that he won't make it right with those people in Louisiana, he'll never make it right with any of these victims of human trafficking. So thanks again.